All right guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to change out your blades in a Grizzly G0857 um, and how to show you how to reset the height. Now, for this, your machine, if, if you bought a brand new, should come with something like this. This is the blade setting jig. You're gonna need a three millimeter Allen wrench, eight millimeter open end wrench, um, you're also going to need a three-quarter inch socket to get the fence off. And uh, if you have one, get yourself a nice little air blow gun to clean this out with. Um, first things first, safety first, unplug your machine, take the, the fence off, and then go ahead. If you're going to be using this method, go ahead and lower the tables so that this jig has clearance to sit properly on the drum. Now. Uh, the reason I ended up having to reset the height on my blades is because as I found out this is the factory blade that came with it and I threw a set of calipers on it and it measured in at 0.715. The new blades that I got measured in at 0.755. So I had about 40 thousandths that I had to take out or bring the blade down, uh, which is why I've got my jig out here. So I went ahead and messed around with this one to figure it out first. And as you'll see, you've got five uh, eight millimeter retaining bolts that put pressure on the blade and hold it in. Underneath the blade, you've got two screws that sit inside a countersink. And then you've got these two uh, set screws that raise or lower the blade as you need it. So as you go to adjust, you're gonna put your new blade back in. Use this as, you know, follow the rules in the manual. If you've got the manual, it's on page 40. It tells you how to use this, but basically you set the jig right on top of the drum, right? And this part right here, the blade should just barely be touching this part while these two sides sit flat or flush on the drum. And you should be able to basically set it right on top of the blade and you shouldn't really have too much wiggle or any wiggle in there at all. Um, and if you want to use that method you can or you can use straight edge with some feeler gauges. Um, but it actually, this actually went really fast. I was surprised. I thought it was going to be kind of stupid and, and clunky. It actually worked really fast. And then I went ahead and checked uh, with my feeler gauge, or excuse me, my straight edge. So now that I've got this one figured out, I'm going to go ahead and show you the process. Go ahead and keep a hand on the blade. Because like I said, when you take these bolts off, this thing is spring-loaded, so it will kind of want to pop out at you. Again, be careful of those springs in there. I found that the easiest way to get the blade back in is to just go ahead and turn these all the way down. You don't have to crank down on them. You just need to get them out of the way so when you go to put the new blade in, it goes in fairly easy. Go ahead and wipe that off. Get cleaned out. I'm going to take these springs out real quick. So I need to explain something real quick. You probably can't see it. I'm gonna bring this down here real quick. Okay, I wanna show you this. This is, oh, hold on. 
This is where your springs sit inside this counter screw or counter sink. These are your stops. Now there's really not a whole lot of tension on these, so don't mess with them until you're ready to set your blade height. But that's what we're messing with right here. All right, so now that I've got my workspace cleaned out, I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall my screws. Then I'm going to go ahead and reinstall this bar. Make sure the, the larger end is on bottom, narrow end up top. And I'm sure that somebody else has already figured out probably a better way of doing this, but this is the best way that I found to do this. So go ahead and put the bar in first. And then basically, you're just going to take your blade starting at one end and just slide it into the opening. Okay. Now again, this thing is spring loaded. So you're working with a brand new fresh blade. It's sharp, obviously. So you want to be careful. You got to apply downward pressure while scooting this thing in and getting it seated. Right. All right, so that feels pretty good. Now, I'm gonna tell you, I just needed to get this in here as a reference point so I can turn down. I already figured out on the last one that I did that one full turn of the set screws is just enough to give me the 40 thousandths that I need to go down on these blades to make up for the difference in height from the new blades to the old blades. So using my three millimeter Allen wrench, I'm just gonna make one full turn down. Sorry about that, uh, I had some technical problems, <clears throat> but now we're back at it. Uh, picking up where we left off, you're going to go ahead and make your turns or make your adjustments depending on whether you need to go up or down. Again, uh, just based on my own machine, I found that one full turn was about 40 thousandths. So hopefully that will help you and you can do the math from there to figure out how far up or down you need to go. Um, once you make your adjustments, get your blade seated back in the groove. And what I did is I would just tighten down one of these bolts to hold this in place. And again, if you're using uh, the jig method to set your blade, um, you're gonna need to go ahead and loosen up your stops on your in-feed and out-feed table, set those down so they're out of the way. So it's gonna sit on there like that all four feet should be touching the drum and the blade should just barely be touching that knot. Once you've got that set and you're pretty comfortable with that, go ahead and tighten down all your, your nuts and bolts. Again, I believe it's page 40. They tell you how to do this and the following pages will tell you all the specifications you need uh, to tighten these up. That's the process that I used. I hope that you found that helpful uh, and informative. Um, and if you hadn't have anything that you would like to add, go ahead and leave a comment, uh, give it a like and a subscribe and thanks for watching.